we conducted a case control study in uh, Nigeria and Ghana, 4,000 cases, 4,000 controls, uh, conducted over a five-year period from 2013 to 2018. And essentially what we did was to um, investigate the characteristics of stroke in the region. We had 15 sites in both of these countries. We ended up identifying 11 risk factors uh, that explained about 99% of the burden of stroke in these two countries. Six of those 11 risk factors were lifestyle risk factors, things like psychosocial stress, adding salt at the dinner table to uh, your meal, uh, things like uh, excessive intake of meat. So potentially things that could be modified to reduce the burden of stroke. The great news about our siren study is that we learned very early on that involving the community was important. So before we even started to enroll cases and controls, for the first year, we engaged the community. We put together seven different community advisory boards, getting to know people, getting to know stakeholders. We actually involved even politicians and policymakers on those boards. That was very helpful and allowed us to be able to recruit the 8,000 participants in our study. But just as importantly, when we, our findings were done, we were actually able to present them to policymakers in Nigeria and were able to pass the first stroke prevention and control law in Nigeria ever, in all your state in Nigeria. And so it was the moral of that story was just, again, how the community is so important, not just to make sure you get a study successfully done, but to be able to translate it into um, into uh, uh, actually being implemented in a particular region, especially if it becomes law. Um, having said that, we recognize during Sirene and many other studies that we are doing that the workforce really needs to be bolstered. And so we now have this talents program. It's supported by the National Institutes of Health in the United States. And what it purports to do is to each year take six scholars, African scholars, different uh, uh, disciplines who have an interest in uh, clinical neuroscience research, expose them to um, one to two years of understanding research methodology, and then to do that over a period of four years. Now, the grant is for five years, but we're doing it for four years because the whole idea here is all the people we train within the program, which we hope to be at least 20 scholars, will go on to form the initial faculty for a master's of neurological research in Africa. Now, we hope to house that in the University of Libado. So it's kind of a grow your own type of thing. We're going to grow them. And then they are going to serve as faculty where you'll now have this indigenous program, which will go on to now produce more and more scholars. And so that's what talent is about.